today we're going to talk about the relationship between fasting during Ramadan and its immune effects. Ramadan lasts between 29 and 30 days, and you're required not to drink or eat anything just before sunrise to just after sunset. This is a dry fast, and what I mean by dry fast is you're not drinking any water. Now, before we get into the benefits, I do want to point out this one very, very important point. Um, if you look at some of the studies done on Ramadan, you're going to see some mixed reviews. And I think the reason for that, because what you eat before and after you fast is going to make or break your success. If you are eating a lot of junk food, refined carbohydrates, that is going to greatly inhibit these amazing effects that you could achieve if you added keto-friendly foods, low carb, during the meals. I mean, think about it. Ketones in general are antimicrobial. When you do fasting, you actually decrease what's called cytokines. There are different types of cytokines, and cytokines are chemical messages that communicate between your immune cells. There are certain cytokines that cause inflammation, and those are the ones that we're talking about. So it'll decrease the trigger to inflammation. Also, it will stimulate something called macrophages. A macrophage is a large cell that eats bacteria and microbes and viruses. This is like a professional, what's called a phagocyte, which not just is like a garbage disposal, but it is a deadly killer and a, one of the first lines of defense for any type of invasion for microbes. So the more you can stimulate macrophages, the better the immune system. All right, next thing is it will increase the microbiome. What is the microbiome? That describes your friendly microbes in your body that help you. A great majority of your immune system, and I'm talking like 70%, is located in your large intestine. And I'm talking about the microbiome, which I did a video on, and I'll put that link down below, gives you incredible immune support. And without it, your risk for infection goes straight up and vertical. When you do fasting, which is kind of weird because you're actually kind of starving them, they live longer. There's certain type of genetic things that get triggered that support your immune system. Next thing is resistance to stress. When you fast, you increase your capacity to fight off stress, as well as DNA damage too. Also, when you fast, you decrease oxidative stress. You're going to have less free radicals. You're also going to get an increase in production of your antioxidant networks, which also can help as well. And lastly, fasting will increase autophagy, which is your body's ability to recycle old damaged parts as well as microbes. There's a very specific type of autophagy called xenophagy, which targets pathogens. One huge benefit of fasting is basically the elimination of these microbes that can stay dormant in your body for many, many years. Ramadan has huge, powerful effects on the immune system, but I think it could be a lot better if you also add keto. If you're new to my channel, I put a link down below of exactly what you should be eating to enhance your benefits. If you want more information about fasting, check out this intro video right here. you're going to have less free radicals. You're also going to get an increase in production of your antioxidant networks, which also can help as well. And lastly, fasting will increase autophagy, which is your body's ability to recycle old damaged parts as well as microbes. There's a very specific type of autophagy called xenophagy, which targets pathogens. One huge benefit of fasting is basically the elimination of these microbes that can stay dormant in your body for many, many years. Ramadan has huge, powerful effects on the immune system, but I think it could be a lot better if you also add keto. If you're new to my channel, I put a link down below of exactly what you should be eating to enhance your benefits. If you want more information about fasting, check out this intro video right here.